What is up FBG fam? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. Now truth be told I was planning on doing another video on Kujo Sara but I was streaming earlier this morning and I had a plethora of people coming into the stream asking how much ER is enough ER for the Raiden Shogun and that led me to believe that there is still confusion on how much energy recharge you should be aiming for for your Raiden Shogun for her to perform optimally. So I thought I would take this opportunity to clarify that for you guys and provide you some additional information and hopefully after this video you bet you have a better idea of what energy recharge you're trying to have on your Raiden Shogun. So I do hope this video helps and I do hope you enjoy. With that being said before we jump into it for those asking to stare into Kazuha's crimson dreamy eyes well there you go my friends this one's just for you and there is a long list for those asking there is a long list so a long a long list what is a long list i have no clue it's a long list make sure you drop your character down below and i'll uh, get to it eventually anyways let's go ahead and jump straight into the video so how much er is enough er for your Raiden shogun well if you're asking me just plain and simple north of 250 is what you should be aiming for 50 er is the bare minimum and north of that is what you want to be striving for now with that also being said if you are planning to take advantage of the four piece bonus that you get from the emblem of severed fate which is something that i believe you should be doing anyways when you're going for your Raiden shogun to make sure that she performs optimally then you're going to want to get closer to 300 if not 300 right on the dot and there's a few reasons why and massive shout out to lewis and others in the stream today in the chat helping me out i had a lack of sleep the night before and i was having a hard time mathing and it just wasn't working for me so thank you guys for helping me out on this one but if we take a look at the four piece bonus and we'll take a look at my ching ka-ching because she does have the four piece bonus set it increases elemental burst damage by 25 percent of energy recharge a maximum of 75 percent bonus damage can be obtained in this way the reason why you want to aim close to 300 percent if not nail it right on the dot is because that is going to allow you to get the maximum 75 percent bonus damage from the four piece bonus set of this artifact set so that is what you're going to want to be aiming for and if not 300 you definitely want to get as close as possible now if you're coming to me asking hey is 203 good is 230 good er and that is taking into account everything weapon raiden shogun's ascension that's your finalized er then no that is not good enough like i mentioned bare minimum you want to be north of 250 and you want to be as close to 300 percent as you possibly can if you are using the emblem of severed faith set if you're not using that set then north of 250 is going to be good enough because the energy cost for the ride and shogun is high yes but if you're 250 260 270 that is enough to be able to meet the energy uh cost to pop the elemental burst and you'll be perfectly fine in my opinion of course but if you're going to take advantage of this four piece set then you want to be closer to 300 percent because of that reason alone so you can get the maximum damage bonus and i thought i would take this opportunity as well to give you guys a bit of an update on my uh ride and shogun build what i have so far i've done a video prior um showing you what i had and this could be like an update video just to give you an idea of where i'm at still a work in progress but we're getting there nonetheless so Let's go ahead and take a look at what we have working with. So this is my HP flower. I got a better one in my last video. I think I mentioned I was looking for a good flower. This is my off piece set with the feather, which is kind of pogs because of the crit damage. If we go over to my sands, as you can see, I'm rocking in energy recharge percent sands. This was another question in reference to my uh, video about attack percent sands or energy recharge percent sands. Just to really quickly clarify, that video was more to show that the attack percent sands with the attack percent goblet just nets a little more damage. But the damage difference is so negligible that it doesn't make a huge difference. And I just wanted to clarify that. So if you want to go with an energy recharge percent sands and that allows you to get closer to the 300%, then by all means, that's what you're definitely going to want to go ahead and do. Um, because like I mentioned, the damage is such a minimal difference that it really doesn't matter and that goes the same for an uh, electro damage goblet if you wanted to do that instead of an attack percent i think the damage difference is so minimal that it doesn't really matter guys so if you want to go energy recharge percent sands electro goblet by all means go for it i'm going to be testing both either way 
but just by the calculations I was able to do, it wasn't a huge difference. I just wanted to correct myself and show that attack percent sands and attack percent goblet just nets a slightly higher damage output, very slightly. But at the end of the day, in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't really matter. You can go either way. And then for my circlet, right now I have a crit rate circlet on. Um, but the circlet is what I need to work on the most, if I'm being honest. That is the one that I really need to focus on and get better substats on. So that is my main focus when I'm farming artifact domains at the moment right now. So if we take a look at my stats so far, if we go over to details, you can see that my crit rate to crit damage is pretty de decent. I would love that crit damage to be higher, of course. And then we have the energy recharge at 204%. Once we factor in the Raiden Shogun's Ascension, where you're going to get an additional 32% at level 90, and then if you factor in, I'm just going to use the best in slot, the Engulfing Lightning, um, the Energy Recharge on that, because that's the weapon I'm going to be utilizing. That's another additional 55. I'm going to be over the 300% threshold, which, let me go ahead and quickly mention, you don't have to be over 300% because you don't get any added benefits once you go that high. There's just really no need for that. So... In that case, you can then focus more on crit rate and crit damage, so you can boost your damage up a little bit more. Um, but just with what I have right now, which is still a work in progress, I'll be over that 300%. So, as you can see, it's not going to be that difficult. As long as you're focusing on when the artifacts, if you focus on, you know, some of your substats, if not all of your substats, having energy recharge, as you can see, that was a real main focus of mine, is to make sure that I have energy recharge in just about every one of these artifacts. It's all you really have to do, and you're going to be perfectly fine once you start to factor in the Raiden Shogun's Ascension, and once you start to factor in whatever weapon, whether it be the catch or the best in slot, because you got to remember the catch also on the substat has energy recharge so you really can't mess the energy recharge up but i hope this video helps and once again i just wanted to clarify energy recharge how much er is enough er in general north of 250 this is a tldr version for you guys in general north of 250 if you're taking advantage of the emblem of severed face set you want to be closer to 300 if not right on the dot if you're, if you're like 290, 280, you're perfectly fine, but you want to be close to 300, you don't need to go above 300, okay? Uh, once you go above 300, I think you're going to be sacrificing damage at that point. All right, so hopefully this helps. And if you guys have like additional insight or additional information, let me know in the comments down below. Or if you think differently, you have a, a different opinion, let me know what that is down in the comments below as well. Hopefully this video wasn't too confusing or convoluted. I tried to be as systematic and organized as possible and explain it in a way that's very easy to understand. So hopefully this helps. Um, like I mentioned, I was just getting a lot, a lot of those questions in today's stream. A tons of people asking me how much energy recharge is enough. So hopefully this helps. And uh, next video will hopefully be a Kujo Sara video. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. Remember to stand out, be different, have fun, go further beyond in everything that you do. And until next time, my boys, until next time, it's your homie Cody GT. And I'm out. Bye, guys.